What's up, everybody? It's your host, Dan the Lost Boy, and we're back with another one, Project LB52 Podcast. And we got a pretty special one here today. I got the entire team with me. Maybe not the entire team, but the, the key players. And we're going to bring everybody on, and we're going to have some fun and just chat things out and meet the team. So I have with me not only the one and only Matt McKeever. What's I got up, guys? Hey, everybody. And then I have Kyle Down and Abdul El Tawil. Hey, hey. So this is kind of the majority of the LB52 team. And uh, we're just going to hang out and kind of go over some stuff and get to know each other a little bit better, as in the audience a little bit better. So let's jump into some of the, the questions I have here. Um, I'm just going to go around the circle and we'll just kind of maybe do a quick intro of who we are and kind of what our role is on the team. And uh, maybe we'll just start with Matt, if you don't mind. Sure. Yeah. appreciate that, Dan. So Matt McKeever, a uh, real estate investor, uh, CPA, so chartered accountants as well, based out of London, Ontario, and uh, also a YouTuber. So I've got a YouTube channel where essentially I teach financial independence and all that stuff. But how I got involved with Dan and his NFT project was I'm, I'm really into NFTs right now. I love the idea of communities. I see so much opportunity there. And for me, I just saw a huge I thought opportunity for artists. I'm not a musical artist, but I knew that there was something here. So I naturally just tried to uh, rope Dan into it, started talking his ear off about NFTs, kind of, you know, trying to just get him to go down that rabbit uh, hole of everything NFT related. And as we kind of explored those conversations, I think we started to really realize there's a huge opportunity here for aspiring musicians, for rappers like Dan, that you don't necessarily have to go platinum in order to make it as a rapper. And so, yeah, I think this is a really exciting project. Really happy to be a part of it and looking forward to seeing what we can turn this into. Absolutely. I'm super glad to have Matt on as a partner. Very strategic partner, I will add at that. Um, next up, Brandon, why don't you give us a little intro and uh, what you do for the team? Hey, everybody. Yeah, my name is Brandon Miller. I am based out of Strathroy, just like my friend Dan there. That's how we met and went to school together. Uh, I'm currently an insurance professional working in that uh, industry, but my real passion is art and digital art. Dan, knowing this, wanted to get me involved on the team, and, uh, and we're going for a hand-drawn aspect for these, for these avatars uh, that, that we're doing. I'm really excited to see where this goes. I'm really excited to have the hand that draws these, these uh, tokens, if you will and just to meet and, and be a part of all these communities, as Matt was saying, uh, just really get involved in the NFT world. Heck yeah, so that's our graphic artist that's actually taking care of the avatars, Brandon Miller. Thanks, Brandon. Uh, we'll move on to Kyle. Why don't you give us a little intro, Kyle? Hey guys, I'm also a, a CPA and I actually joined the Problems and Profit team as a, an accountant and the controller of one of our wholesaling teams. Um, I was introduced to NFTs by Matt and got really engaged because I'm a, a coder at heart and I've been trying to like learn more about the behind the scenes on Ethereum and NFTs itself. I'm also from Strathroy, so I didn't meet these guys before the team, but we all had that small town uh, feeling there. Heck yes. Uh, yeah, it's a small world and it, it seems the more doors you open, the more old doors you, you kind of recognize it seems and this was definitely one of those last but not least abdul why don't you give us a little intro sure thing yeah um yeah so the third cpa right uh abdul al here um yeah so i i joined uh, uh matt's team i guess uh back in in may of this year and uh yeah just uh on a couple of different companies mainly the social media company has and um and now uh, joining this NFT music kind of company, which is just awesome. I've never heard about NFTs before joining uh, the team, but now I'm kind of uh, all into it, and I'm loving this, uh, you know, the whole propping up artists and stuff, um, like local artists. So I think, uh, really excited just to see where this goes. Absolutely. Thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate the little intro. And uh, we got Peter behind the scenes. Going to give him a quick shout, shout out. Peter, the producer working on the, the media and things of that nature through social mediation. So shout outs to Pete, he's on the team, but you can't see him right now because he's doing magic. Um, we'll jump into a couple of fun questions maybe, and I'll maybe focus on you, Brandon, here in the beginning. Just curious, what, what was your first NFT? Like what was the first NFT that you acquired or that you have? Absolutely. 
The first NFT is actually an album by Dan the Lost Boy Koziolik here. Uh, it is his it is his first NFT album that he put out himself. I was one, I own copy number two, I believe. I'm pretty excited. Two or three. I, I need to go double check that I haven't been in my wallet in a while. But uh, yeah, I'm very excited to have that. That's really what got me introduced. Dan Dan pioneered that. And as a supporter and a true fan, uh, I thought it was it was fitting. A for my first NFT and to support a good friend. That was not a loaded question, everybody. I no, definitely know. not. Yeah, I did know that that was his first NFT. It's, it's funny. It just happened to be. That's why I was smiling when you were asking the question. <laughs> I super appreciate that. So the one Brandon's referring to is my Live Lost or Live Love Lost EP, which uh, has 25 copies available on OpenSea right now. So shout us to Brandon. That's a good first NFT, man. Good choice. Um, Another quick one for Brandon here is, uh, what's your current favorite NFT project aside from Project LB52? And if there isn't one, that's perfectly fine. We're all a little biased towards LB52 though, I think. No, absolutely. Um, so currently I, I really take inspiration from obviously Bored Ape, the, the blue chip Bored Ape. I, I, I love how they look. But on, on a lesser known, I really love the crypt or the rug punks rather uh, I, I thought that was a very interesting idea um i love as an artist i love to see different different ways of, of putting out digital art and this is just amazing to see how somebody could could turn already existing nfts into their own and make it look like a a rug a, a true rug i thought that was very interesting so yeah rug punks i like it man good answer good answer um I'm going to give you one more, Brandon, and then maybe we'll have you drop off because I think it's a little – what do you think, guys? It's a little crazy. We're all in the same house right now, you know, and we're all on different screens. So I think what better time than right now? If you don't mind holding on for one second, Brandon, I think we're all going to converge. Let's get on this same couch. Let's get a little more homey. Let's get a little bit more friendly, and we'll get the team over here. So just give us a second here, Brandon. All right, let's do this. Let's do it, guys. A true team sits very close quarters on a couch with cool YouTube pillows. <laughs> We're about to prove it. A few moments later. What's going on, Dan? Let's go. Squeeze in, boys. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's go. This is the vibes now. Like man. magic. This is the vibes. <laughs> So I think we'll we'll go through. Um, I got some quick fire questions here for you, Brandon. Just gonna get kind of go with a thumbs up or thumbs down for some of these, um, and just kind of whatever you feel. No pressure on them. We're gonna refrain from answering right now. Uh, we're just gonna give you the floor. So I'll just quick draw some questions, and you give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. All right? Deal. Coinbase launching its own NFT marketplace. Neutral. <laughs> Good answer. Winter is coming, and NFT bear market approaches. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. Okay. The NFT bull run shall continue. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up all day. I like it. Gas fees, just generally. Thumbs up or thumbs down? <laughs> thumbs all the way down. I like it. Buying NFTs based on, your, on art and aesthetic. Thumbs up or thumbs down? As an artist, thumbs up. I like it. And the last one, thumbs up or thumbs down for tweeting good morning. Got to thumb up that one. I like it. That's definitely the, the best answer. Um, and honestly, Brandon, I appreciate the time, man. I think we're going to have you drop off. We're going to gonna play on the couch here a little bit with some of these hot take questions and stuff. And I appreciate you showing up, man. And Always. Team. And, uh, nice, nice chatting with all you boys. I hope you have a great day. And uh, can't wait to, to see all your answers to these. Absolutely. Thanks for the time, Brandon. We'll see you on the flip side, buddy. Have a good one, everybody. See you, Brandon. Will do. All right. So, guys, we'll get kind of into the same vibe, just, you know, with, with, the, with the couch team here. So, I might even just go over the same questions, and we'll just do a group thumbs up or thumbs down. Um, so, we'll go over some of the same ones, and then there's a couple extra ones as well. So, what do we think? Coinbase launching its own NFT marketplace. Thumbs up or thumbs down? All right. Winner's coming. The hey, wait, is this an audio podcast too? Because maybe we should say it out loud. That's very true. Very true. So everybody will do that first one again. Coinbase launching its own NFT marketplace. That's a thumbs up for me. I'm going to say thumbs up because it's another market that just means more liquidity entering the space. Kyle, what do you I'm think? Go thumbs down. 
We've already got open seat. That's not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I'd say thumbs up. I think the more marketplaces, the better, the more decentralized it can be. I like that. Good answers, boys. Um, let's go to one we haven't done here. So buying NFT based on the team and the devs, what do we think? Thumbs up or thumbs down? For me, that's a thumbs up. Yeah, I'm going to say a thumbs up. Although, like, I need to actually know the team. And I think that's one of the hardest parts when it comes to a lot of these NFT projects, right? Is like, do you actually get to see the people IRL? You get to see us, at least. All on the same couch. <laughs> I'm going to go thumbs up. It's always good to know the people behind it to see whether or not they would actually implement what their uh, roadmap is. And if they have a history of good things, then it likely will happen. Good answer. Abdul? I'd say thumbs up as well. Whatever reason you want to buy an NFT, that should be, you know, your own reasons, your own prerogative. I like that. That's a good answer. Um, and maybe we'll do this one here. Listing an NFT at a loss for liquidity. Me personally, I'm going to give that a thumbs down. Hoddle, diamond hands. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to say thumbs down as well, but it's because of my investment philosophy. So pretty much any NFT I'm buying into, I'm looking to hodl for an extended period of time. So I'm, I'm not the one that's going to mint immediately. And then if I don't get a rare sell right away, I'm just going to hold on to it because I believe in the long term of that project. I'm going to go thumbs down on that one. Never do anything for a loss as an accountant through gains only. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's a thumbs down for me. I mean, buy and hold, right? That's the strategy. I like it. And we'll, we'll finish with the same one we finished with Brandon is tweeting good morning. Thumbs up and thumbs down. If you follow me on Twitter, I think you know this is a big thumbs up for me. Got to start the day on the right foot for yourself and, and your following. I'm going to say thumbs up. I love seeing the uh, GM uh, tweets, although I don't actually participate. <laughs> I'm going to go thumbs up on that. Always good to start the day on positive vibes. Heck yes. Uh, yeah, thumbs up. I mean, just tweet whatever's on your mind, right? I like it. All right, so we'll double back to one of the questions I asked Brandon that I think is very interesting for anyone that's in any capacity in the NFT world. Um, what was your first NFT? I'll go first. I actually uh, bought an axolotl or an axolotl can't remember but you can still find it in my wallet and it was a good way to just get the the, the paws wet paws dirty and understand how it all works so that was my first what's yours matt so this is probably my best flex i think is my very first nft was a crypto punk what <laughs> my first nft was a mad cat militia i really like the idea of the community engagement in a game setting and that it adds, adds some competitive nature because I have a very competitive uh, nature in me. So I just mm -hmm. wanted to bring that to the NFT world. Cool. Yeah, finally, mine is, uh, I actually heard this one through Dan, Blaze Cats. Right? Let's go. Um, I just love that it was basically a big middle finger to Hollywood, essentially. I like it. You went with the troll the troll path. I love it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not, was, <laughs> unfortunately, it wasn't my first. I'd love to say it was, but it was one of my first, the Blaze Cats. Mm -hmm. So shout out to the Blaze Cats team, fam. All right, next question up is, um, what are you most excited about regarding Project LB52 and its impending launch? Um, I'm just going to open this up to everybody else and maybe I'll finish off. So Matt, why don't you go ahead? Sure, yeah, happy to jump in here. So there's a lot to be excited about, in my opinion, but I think what's the coolest part of this, and in, in, from my perspective, is really that opportunity to build as well as connect with a community. And reducing the number of middlemen between the artists and their actual fan base or their community, I think is uh, a fantastic opportunity for everyone involved. I think less middlemen, more win-wins in this regards. And so really excited just to see Dan, how you're able to build that fan base, build that community, as well as create like truly, truly unique one-off art here, right? Like this is going to be so different from everything else I've seen at least so far in the NFT space. Heck yes. What about you, Kyle? I'm truly excited about seeing what, people will want a song about and that everyone has their different passions and that and how it will be all tied together into a one cohesive song that Dan's going to make. And so far what he's put out has been absolute fire. So it can, seeing that continue is always good. Good answer, man. Good answer. I appreciate that as well. What about you, Abdul? Um, I love the creativity behind it. Uh, I think um, as of like right now, like most NFT projects coming out, it's like a, you can use it. It's like an avatar with a little bit of utility behind it. But now you get like a custom song by like a, a local rapper, like artist, like and possibly even more artists in the future and so on. Like something as creative as that uh, is just 
Yeah, that's what that's what I'm really excited for. Nice, great answer. And I think I'll I'll kind of wrap things up on that question of I'm just really most excited to connect with you guys, with the team, with with people, just to make really cool, long lasting relationships and connections through the process of making the songs and hosting the community for the next five plus years is really what I'm excited about is cultivating the community and and really adding as much value to it as I can. And just again, just I'm a, I'm a personable guy. I like to talk. I like to connect and communicate. And that's really what I'm excited about here is to create, but with the integration of connection with you guys at home and with the team here beside me. So that's really what I'm excited about in a whole. But I think as Matt said, there's a lot to be excited about. Mm-hmm. Pick, pick yours. <laughs> and our, maybe not the last question, but we'll see where it leads. Where do we see NFTs in, in five years time? And I mean that as a whole kind of a broad, not specifically our project LB52 NFT, but just the whole space. What do you think five years is gonna look like, Matt? Well, seeing how the last six months has felt like a lifetime in the <laughs> NFT space for me, I, I honestly can't even imagine where we'll realistically be from a, a five year time horizon. Obviously five years from now, we'll be past 2024, which means we've gone through another happening cycle with Bitcoin. I imagine that that's going to create a whole nother new cycle around everything crypto related, including NFTs. So I definitely see a lot of huge opportunities in the space. If you're thinking on that five year time horizon, I think it'll be really cool to see what projects like LB52 have evolved into, what Gary B has been able to do with his conferences and stuff, because at that point in time, we'll probably have seen three or four conferences five years from now from Gary. And yeah, I just, it, it's going to be so massive and yet, I still think five years from now, it'll still be early in NFTs. And that's also really cool. Very cool. What do you think, Kyle? Honestly, it's so hard to guess just with how much has changed, even in the first uh, uh, six months of experiencing NFTs and seeing how different projects come up with different utilities and roadmaps associated with it and how it could be expanded into real world things like Gary Vee's conference. Mm. I want to see how more it'll get integrated into real world objects and how owning it will just be a function of having NFT and the idea of a smart contract being able to regulate everything that needs to be done and consistently. um, I can see it becoming more expansive in how much utility you can gain from it. I agree. I can definitely agree with that. And what do you think, Abdul? Uh, yeah, so I'm kind of mad on this one. Like, I don't really know where it's going to go, but um, the way I'd see it is, like, I always equate it to, like, how uh, how websites were when they first came out. Like, nobody even knew what the application was going to be. Nobody knew, like, this is where it was going to get to, right? Um, and that's that's what I think is going to happen with NFTs. So it'll kind of just be, uh, once we uncover that that Pandora's box of, like, what is even, what's even in there, like, what it's capable of, um, I think. I don't know, just can't really say for sure, but I think that's that's where it's going, right? No, that's a good answer, man. And I think if anybody tried to answer this with 100% certainty, you might look silly in five years because it is so unpredictable. Um, and it's just moving so quickly, which is exciting, but also, again, hard to predict. And I think we're all right in assuming that what's really going to be interesting is is just how it's used, I think, is the the use cases and how people can get more creative and more creative with the technology and the utilities and things like that. So very exciting, good good answers all around. And um, maybe we'll do, um, let's let's go into, where can we find you guys online, if, if anywhere? I know we can find you, Matt, where, yeah, where would so that be? You can literally just Google me, Matt McKeever, and you should be able to find me, but definitely on Instagram, on YouTube, those are my two biggest platforms. So Matt McKeever Unfiltered, if you wanna see some of my crypto and stuff related to that. Just Matt McKeever 85 if you'd rather just see my real estate, personal finance, and content around there. But uh, yeah, definitely love it. Uh, follow along. And uh, not very big on Twitter, but you're welcome to follow me there too. Nice. Kyle, you online much? Oh, yeah. I'm on Instagram at kdowney. Um, you can also find me in the discords at Project LB52. Um, one of the moderators there. And you can find me mainly in the discord there. Nice. Abdul, you online much? Uh, yeah, so I use Instagram, uh, at unofficial Abdul, but I am the official Abdul. Uh, <laughs> other than that, um, not too much. I'll, I'll be in the Discord as well, like Abdul El Tuil, and uh, I'll also be on the LB52 uh, Discord. That's a great answer. I was hoping you guys said that. I didn't want to like have to <laughs> poke you from behind, or anything, but that's that's a great answer. And maybe I'll just kind of basically wrap up and, and uh, 
really appreciated having, having the, the team together on one couch in one room. And I hope you guys too is, do as well because – as Matt was kind of alluding to earlier, you don't see as much in real life, you know, person to person connection with the team. A lot of uh, anonymous players, a lot of um, devs that just all you see is an avatar. So I think it's kind of a cool difference what we're doing here of getting face to face with everybody, getting in the same room and really just trying to connect with you guys. And Dan, actually, before we wrap up, I figured let's give them a little bit of bonus content seeing how, you know, we've got pretty much the whole team here. So I'd love, you know, favorite nft story so mm. i'll let you guys kind of define how that is and i'll go first because i made it up but uh <laughs> essentially for me you know nfts were fascinating i'm very happy i got into my crypto punk when i did but that's actually not my favorite nft moment or experience so far for me being able to join the board api club when it was still in its infancy was really something special because the sense of community that was just like spilling over from that discord the number of people on twitter that were changing their profile photos and things like that. It was the first time I saw that happening like on mass or at scale. And it was just really fascinating to be a part of it. And, you know, this is all going on during the summer of 2021 or late spring, summer of 2021. And for me, it's been, we're in Canada here, just as an FYI for anyone that's maybe uh, doesn't know our background, but being Canadians or really just being in any uh, part of the Western world right now is a strange time. And so for myself, Rather than necessarily going Britney Spears and shaving my head, I decided I would change my profile photos on my social media to one of my board apes, my DMT ape. And that to me, it just, that's when things really clicked. And I was like, oh shit, like I now belong to this exclusive club. There's only 10,000 other people. And one of the ways we kind of identify ourselves is by sharing this profile photo. But even to me, at least, it was a bigger comment on what was going on like socially and trying to really create common knowledge as game theory would dictate for my audience or my followers to be like, hey guys, I think NFTs are here to stay. Like I think NFTs are actually going to become massive. And it's not just about the financial gains, it's really about that sense of community. So just wanted to kind of share that with you guys because a lot can get lost right now in this NFT space. There's so much money sloshing around, people getting hundred X returns in one day. And again, that's great. You guys are welcome to those. But I think when the dust settles, whether this is a bull run or whether this is just going to be a perma bull run, doesn't really matter. What matters is going to be the community and the connections and relationships built upon those mutual interests. And I think that this is just the beginning here as far as community goes. And, you know, during a period of time of lockdowns, of social isolation, of just really social distancing and all those different things, people need a sense of community more than ever before. And I think that NFTs are one of the best ways for people to be able to participate and choose who they want to be in their mm -hmm. community with. So true. Maybe I'll just piggyback off of that. And my, my kind of favorite story is not really a specific story, but maybe a, a platform and that being Discord, like the discovery of Discord and what um, communications can be had and how kind of meaningful of relationships you can make through just an instant messaging um, platform has kind of blown me away and it's only been a matter of months. You know, I feel like I'm making pretty solid relationships with people that could be on the other side of the world. You'll maybe never know their name, their age, their true interests, but the one interest you do share is a particular NFT or a, a particular project, artwork, things of that nature. So I think just the, the whole concept of being able to really get to know new people on a pretty deep level through something as surface level, some may say empty as just art or NFTs or technology. You can really get pretty deep with, with, with people. And I've really enjoyed that. And, and the, the joy, it sounds kind of cheesy, but the joy that it brings of just connecting with people and having good conversation, even if it's over a computer is really cool. And I'm excited to see where that kind of transitions to into maybe more of an IRL mm -hmm. situation conferences as as um, Gary V's working on and things of that nature to really get people in the same room and and to kind of let that relationship that started in discord blossom in real life and I think that's really exciting so maybe not a particular story per se but more just a, a, a facet of the NFT space and world that I've become very enamored with and I think is going to be a large um, key and proponent of, of progress moving forward. Mm -hmm. So Kyle or Abdul, you got maybe a story you want to refer to? Yeah, there was, when I originally got my Mad Cat and went to the Discord, there was a little game you can play in which you can gamble, you can do a, a flip a head or tails. Mm. You can use those points and it, it's, it's meaningless. But 
I got up to like a couple thousand points as the top of the leaderboard and I ended up gifting like a few points to some other people who were uh, also on, on near the top of the leaderboard but not quite getting there. And there was one day I accidentally just gambled all of it away. And one of the devs is like, hey, here, I'll just like pitch you some, go try at it again. And it was just <laughs> kind of funny that like someone who's in, in one of the developers is like noticing, hey, like this is going on in the Discord. Like we put this game here to kind of engage people. And they see someone just lose big and they're like, I ah, will put you back in the game. And I hope that's <laughs> kind of like goes forward in the their actual Mad Cat Militia game. Yeah, I think these communities create such a huge opportunity for artists, for, you know, whatever uh, influencers to really be able to connect with their super fans, right? And the people that are truly committed to helping build a community around this content or that idea. And like, yeah, it's stories like that. They're just so cool. Very cool. Anything come to mind for you, Abdul? Uh, for me, honestly, it's it's the whole building of this LB52, mm. right? Like, uh, I mean, just getting introduced into NFTs when first joining here and then right away starting this NFT project with you, Matt and Kyle. I mean, like, this is honestly unreal. It's not really anything I've, I've, I've ever uh, experienced before. I mean, coming from a, a background of, like, public accounting and auditing, like, we, we would normally have meetings in a, in a big boardroom and we're just, like, talking about okay, what automated controls can we, like, I don't know, just stuff like that. It's not really interesting. And then you come to team meetings where we're in, we're in a house and like kind of like a startup vibe and um, we're starting up a new company, right? Mm -hmm. And stuff like that. And now it's an NFT project. Like that's just, that's the coolest story in, in my opinion um, with regards to NFTs that, that I've experienced so far. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's almost the story you're living right now then. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Uh hundred percent. And so I know Dan's too humble to make this ask guys, but this is a new podcast and we'd love some reviews. So instead of just leaving us a boring review, I'd love for you just tell us a joke. Three CPAs and a rapper walk into a bar and tell us the punchline. So leave that as your iTunes or Google Play written review. We'd love five stars on this podcast as well. It really does help people discover it. And hopefully you guys got some value and hopefully you guys will be supporting Dan, the lost boy, Dan, the NFT boy, as well as LB52. Absolutely. I appreciate that, Matt. And I think you were spot on in saying I probably wouldn't have asked, just being a little too humble. You guys know what to do, though. If you really appreciate what we're giving here, any, if you're getting any value from it, you know, leave a review, share with your friends, do anything that you can. It really helps us a lot. And it's much appreciated, definitely by me, but the, the whole team um, as a whole. So I think we'll kind of wrap it up there. And I'm just going to kind of finish things the way I usually do with just asking you guys, come on, join us in the Discord. As Kyle and Abdul said, we're all there. We're hanging out. You can even maybe get Matt yeah. in there, ask him some cool questions, check out his Discord. It's up to you, but we'd really love to see you in the Discord. We want to chat. We want to tell you what we're doing, show you what we're about, show you what we're going to offer in terms of value with this NFT, and really just have some fun chatting and, like I said, making some relationships in that Discord. So make sure you check it out. Um, there'll definitely be a link in the show notes um, below or above or beside or wherever it is. Um, check that out. Also, make sure you follow Project LB52 on Twitter um, and Instagram at Project LB52. We'll be posting more content there as launch approaches. More artwork is available. We want to give sneak peeks, but not really give everything away. So keep an eye on those pages. And if you want to stay up to date with me personally, that's at Dan the Lost Boy on Twitter and Instagram. And the last link I'm going to leave you with is www.projectlb52.com. And that's where I'd really love you guys to keep your eyes peeled for updates and for basically launch announcements about when this NFT is actually going to hit market, when you're able to buy and start that process making a custom song for yourself or somebody you, you care for through me. So definitely reach out on any of those socials and we're really looking forward to connecting with you guys. From me and the rest of the team here at Project LB52, See ya, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.